Customer retention strategies. How do you keep customers happy coming back for more and to want to utilize your product or your service as a business or a professional? Hi everyone, Krista Major with Krista Major Coaching. Did you know the cost to acquire a new customer is substantially higher than actually just keeping the customers and clients that you already have? So what does that mean? That means we need to keep the clients that we already have working with us happy. We need to make them wanting to continue to come back for more. You don't want to spend all this money marketing and attracting customers and clients and consumers just to have them buy your product or utilize your service and never want to come back because you didn't do things right. So let's talk about some really great customer retention strategies that I've actually used in my business in both my businesses that work extremely well. Number one, give little gifts. Now some of you are thinking, well, I can't afford to give gifts. Well, can you give your clients a type of coupon, maybe a buy one, get one free or to come in and buy a hamburger and bring your friend Johnny and Johnny gets their hamburger for half price. Or maybe it's a type of gift if you have a higher end type of a service that you give somebody something like a t-shirt or a jacket or something similar. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that. For my higher level coaching students, we actually teach um, local professionals and businesses how to utilize digital marketing and innovation and social media to really attract a lot of business locally, to bring clients and customers and consumers into their place of business or into their profession. Now here's the deal. When, you're ha when you have a product or a service that's a little bit more expensive, when you show people that you appreciate them, they really appreciate it. So what I do when I actually have higher end coaching clients is we send them a box every time when they first join my coaching program. Program. In that box, we give them a really nice t-shirt. We give them, we print out the actual marketing uh, brochure and the marketing um, strategy and plans for them. We give them a copy of the workbook. We give them pencils and, and uh, we also give them a copy of our book. Then about two months later, we give them a really nice jacket that they get to zip up and we give them another book. We give them gifts to make them happy and to just make them feel good. We let them know that we appreciate them and we value them. Another thing that we do is when we have our live events or summits, we actually give little goodie bags when the people arrive. We give them awesome breakfast and lunch and dinner. We spoil them rotten. We've given them these awesome signs that they can utilize in their place of business. We've given them stuff that they'll actually use in relation to their business. People like like presents, they like things. So think about it. If you're giving people gifts and you're giving them little treats and little, little treats and little trinkets and you're making them smile, if you make a mistake or you mess up, they're less likely to be mad because you've made them feel good along the way. Nothing is worse than um, you know hiring somebody and paying them money and then all of a sudden they just disappear. You don't feel very important or very special. They did so much work to get you into their place of a business, but then once you got there, they didn't take very good care of you. So making people feel special and valued is a really important part of customer retention and keeping people coming back. Another great thing, and I don't need to say this, you all know it, is over delivering. Serve, serve, serve. Give them as much value as you can while you're working with them. Really, really go above and beyond. Do things, like let me give you an example. If somebody, I always tell my, my team, hey, make people's jobs on the other end more easier. For all of our clients, if they ever ask a question, like they say, hey, you know, what's the name of that restaurant? Give them the restaurant and then give them the address, right? And maybe tell them something special about the type of food that's there. Don't just tell them the name. In anything that you can do with your business, how can you take it to the next level to give more value, to serve more, and to make the customer's job more easy? How can you make their customer experience so that they become raving fans, right? So they want to continue to refer you. If, you, if they can become raving fans and they want to refer you more, they're gonna re, re, they're gonna want to rework with you in the future. Relist, resell, rework. Right? You're going to attain them as a client, attain them as a customer, and they're going to refer you more. So going the extra mile, spending a little bit more money, giving them a little bit more attention and time and care is actually going to save you money in the long run because they're gonna come back for more, and they're also going to tell their friends and family about how great your product and your service is. So don't chintz out. Do a good job. Go the extra mile. Give a little bit of extra. Teach your team. Teach your staff. To be customer centric. The customer doesn't have to always be right, right? But in their minds, they should. As long as they're treating you with respect and your staff with respect, always make them feel valued. Even if they might be wrong, don't make them feel that way. Find ways that you can kind of get them to move their thinking to the right direction without saying that they did something wrong or they were incorrect in their thinking. So give nice gifts, give extra value as much as you can, train your staff or yourself if you're your own, your own staff 
to just do whatever it takes to make that customer feel special. If you ever go and look up some of the research on the cost to acquire a new customer versus keeping the customers that you already have, you would be amazed at how much money you will save and how much more quickly your business can grow just by keeping the current customer that you already have happy and coming back for more. Krista Mayshore, everyone, with Krista Mayshore Coaching. And as always, we'd love to see you on our challenge. Go to kristamayshore.com slash challenge. That's kristamayshore.com slash challenge for a free challenge. Seven days of free coaching with me. And uh, you get coaching and accountability and you're learning to learn systems and strategies that are relevant to today's business, to being today's professional. So I'll see you next time. Make it a great day. And I can't wait to help you in the future. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.